All right, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. So I've been working with a couple of font makers, and I'll leave it to them to announce their fonts, but the style effect from the Acolyte season finale, um, which is just an updated version of the Pull to the Darkness and Multiphase on Profi OS, is going to be coming to phase three of my style library. So let me show you real quick. There's actually a couple versions, so we'll talk through them, but let me demo it. Um, so this has a specific delay built into it. So when I first ignite, it's going to be a few seconds, I believe two seconds, until the actual corruption effect that we saw in the episode happens. Um, but then I'll explain everything else on the tail end. All right, so what we've got is it's going to be a brand new special ability. Now this uses the multi-phase blade builder, um, which is the basis for Pull to the Darkness and most of the other phase, dual phase or multi-phase blades we do on the library. Um, but there's, the new special ability actually changes how this operates. And there's going to be two setups. Um, so we are changing phase, so both of them are called change phase. One of them is going to be the one we just showed, is ignition and change phase corruption. So corruption is a new special ability. And it's actually what allows us to have that very jagged animation. Um, so in the episode, the overtake isn't a clean wipe, which a wipe is where it just kind of overwrites with the new color. Um, the, the overtake is actually kind of really jagged. It's almost like it's fighting its way up the blade. Um, so the new library update uh, for my early access patrons will let you choose your timing for how long you want that wipe to take, but it's going to be a very jagged thing. Um, and then it has a sound over the top of it. The sound of the hum, though, for the blade doesn't actually change until after the blade is fully taken over. Um, so what we didn't want, what, what I had to do was create a new way to change that. Um, so if you just use like a regular alt font change, the second you go to change the color, the font's going to swap out. Um, but in the episode, if you actually watch it and listen, the font doesn't change until the end of the overtake. And this is a longer animation. Now, this one's shortened. Um, the actual episode was much longer. This is all editable, so the library will let you pick how long you want it to run. Um, but now I'm going to change back. So this is multi-phase, so I can also just use the regular phase control, special abilities. So I'm just changing back to my blue blade. There are two separate homes. They sound a little similar. Uh, but so I'm back to Blue Blade. So now, the first one was if you want to use Ignite and Change Phase Corruption, that means while your blade's off, you set a special ability. That's a special ignition that will ignite, and then you can set a delay. This one was two seconds, and then it will start the overtake process. You can also set just a regular phase change using special abilities one through four for while your blade is on. This will give you more control over it. So I've set special ability one on this demo to also do the same corruption. So the corruption is going to begin when I do it, um, and what you'll notice is it's very jagged, which is the new animation, so it's kind of fighting its way up. It's not a fixed effect. It's actually going to vary every time you do it, um, and then it actually holds out the last part of the blade, if you watch the episode. The last little bit of the blade doesn't actually change for a little while, and the timing there is a little different than the rest of the way up. Um, so I wanted to mimic that. And then the sound effect won't change. The hum of this saber won't change until the blade is fully red. Um, and that uses a transition sound with this new capability. Um, so in the library, and I'll, I'll do a demo of how to build this in the library, because it's actually, you're going to build a regular multi-phase blade. And you can have as many phases as you want. Obviously, this one has two. Um, but it will then be a special ability to activate that kind of corruption. So I'm going to do the corruption now while the blade is ignited. This is the second version. And you see it holds out at the end, and that's going to be based on the time you want. So you can make this a lot longer, you can make this shorter. Um, you don't want it to be too short, um, because then obviously the animation is going to run really fast. Um, but it's all editable in Phase 3 of the library. You can select delays, you can select the uh, effect. Now there's also, you don't have to just do this type of blade. It can be any multi-phase blade. And the animation, the corruption, there's actually multiple options there. So this is using just a kind of rotoscope, because that's the basic effect they're using. Uh, but there's going to be unstable versions, there's pulse versions, there's all kinds of versions um, that you can also do. So fully customizable if you like the effect, but you don't necessarily want exactly what was in the episode. Um, but this new corruption special ability is what you're going to be able to choose in the library. And because it's using multi-phase, I can actually just, if I do the same thing again, it'll actually reverse itself. It'll do the same jagged animation if I use a change phase corruption. 
Um, but if I just use regular change phase, it'll just go back to normal using whatever you set up for that. Um, so let's do it in reverse, just so you can also watch. So it's going to jaggedly change this time to blue, and it's going to fight itself at the end of the blade. And then once the blue overtakes is when the font actually changes. The font doesn't change during that animation, because that's the big piece of that, is you don't want to change the sound while it's still working its way up. What happens in the episode is after the blade is fully taken over, that's when we get the new hum. So we'll do it. It's going to go in reverse, and then we'll do it forward again. And then once fully taken over, that's when we change out the hum. Um, so this is in phase three of the early access library. Um, and again, it's fully customizable. So everything timing-wise, delays, um, the, which special ability you use, um, it will require alt font. It will also require a couple of transition sounds depending on the version you pick. Um, but so there's going to be uh, special ability one through four is just to do a phase change while the blade is on. And then you can choose five through eight for that actual what happens in the episode. In the episode, when she ignites that blade, there's a short delay. I've made this one two seconds for video purposes, but you can you can have it instantly start to, to do the change, but it actually, it's like a second or two after she ignites that it actually starts. So I wanted to kind of mimic that as well. So I'm going to do it one more time. Like I said, this one's built with a two second delay. So it's going to ignite normally in blue, but then after two seconds, that red's going to start to corrupt. And then after the corruption is fully complete, that's when we're going to change the hum. That's when the hum changes is right after the blade completes fully changing that's when we change the hum. so it is going to use special abilities to do this um, because the other if you just use a regular like transition on uh, alt change um, it's going to swap the font out right away um, and that's not really what we wanted to have happen um, and like i said there's a couple of font makers who will have fonts to support this um, but i'm not going to steal their thunder they're going to be doing their own videos i'm going to give them the code for this uh, based on their specific font um, but if you get those fonts and you want to be able to edit and customize and build out your own and again you can build it any way you want it doesn't have to be just rotoscope styles it doesn't have to be specific colors it doesn't have to be specific timings the library will let you customize it top to bottom um, so definitely stick around i'm going to append the demo video of how to build this in the library just so everybody can kind of see um, there's a ton of options and i'll probably expand the options over time um, but this is a new ability coming uh, phase three early access of my os7 library so um, I know a lot of people have been waiting on it. We've been kind of coordinating back and forth with a few people, so finally got it all ready, and uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so I'm going to do a quick run-through of how to build the new Pulse of the Darkness multi-phase um, style with special capability for the new Acolyte um, season finale. So there's a brand new animation and special ability called Corruption. Um, it's actually using phase change. So we're going to build that style actually in the multi-phase blade builder. Uh, but then the actual new capability is going to be a special ability that you'll set. So you're going to want to go into the blade builder under multi-phase, etc. So it's at the top of the library. We'll go in, build a main blade. All right. And technically, you can build as many phases as you want. So the library will handle this with no, however many phases. But for the specific um, season finale, we obviously had two styles. Um, so I'm going to build them first. So um, you can build any of the effects you want, um, but I'm going to go kind of what, what uh, roughly what we had in the episode. Um, oops, nope, that's the second style, so we'll go there. First style I want there. All right, and then our alt color, which is what's going to run the second blade, we're going to want to change that. Okay. And then now for this new, it's, it is a special ability. It will use alt font. There's a few other sounds you're going to have to set up. Um, that'll be in the style code that gets generated. But basically, you're going to set your style. Now, you can set add more uh, phases if you want. You can change up the colors. You can do everything else there. But we're just going to kind of go after that mimicking. Um, and what we want to do is make sure you change the multi-phase to special abilities. Um, and it's going to prompt us that we do need to set a special ability. Um, and what you're going to do is this is set up as a special ability multi-phase blade. So that means you can also choose other controls. You're not stuck with that corruption animation. So you can use the blade for a lot of other things. But when you want to mimic what we saw in that episode, you can as well. Um, so this does use alt font. 
um, so all that. But we're going to go special abilities. Now there's two new special abilities. I'm going to set these up simply, but you can customize as much as you want. Um, uh, first one will be special ability one through four is going to be this new change phase corruption. So it's a brand new uh, phase change that has the corruption built into it. Um, whereas when you do normal phase changes, you're using the transition that you select at the top. So just so everybody's aware, the phase change here, which is, you could do any of these, there's a, a ton of options. Um, this phase change is for normal changing of phases, meaning you do next phase, uh, random phase, previous phase, etc. It's going to do that transition animation. If you want the, the very jagged, the kind of battle of the two phases that we saw, um, that is actually a special ability because it actually is functioning a little different than the normal transition because we want to do other things with it. Um, so that's where this new special ability comes in. So you can set up your change phase corruption as a special ability, whichever one you want. Um, so we'll set that up. And then there's multiple effects. I'll expand on this. Um, the corruption is actually its own effect. So it's going to corrupt with one of, with one of the phases, depending on which phase is active. Um, you can choose, the episode kind of was really like a, a rotoscope. They had a little bit of instability, but nowhere near what we would consider instability. But I do have other options here, um, and there'll be, this list will probably grow. Um, and then you can set how long you want that uh, change, the corruption, to take. Um, so depending on the font you choose, and there are a couple font makers who I've been working with who have their own versions coming out, they actually have different sounds, so you can time this out. Um, it can't auto time because of the methodology we're using. Um, so what you're going to want to do is figure out how long your sound is that for that corruption. So in the episode when the blade is being corrupted, there's a unique sound that runs over the top. Um, it could be whatever you want. You could put any sound you want there, but you probably want to time that out. Um, it's not. Uh, it won't quite be what you see in that episode without it. Um, but depending on which font you choose or what sound you choose, you're going to want to adjust this. This is obviously milliseconds, so 10,000 milliseconds is 10 seconds. Um, in the demo video that I did, I did a five second one because I, I kind of felt like that was, it was much shorter than the episode, but it also, it just kind of felt right. But it can be whatever time you want. Technically, if you set the time longer than your sound, it'll still run. It's just your sound's going to finish out before the animation does. So ideally, you're going to want to uh, animate it by that. Um, and then the second version, so this is one through four, that's while the blade is on, and I'll demo it in a second. The second version you can do is an ignition and a corruption, which is what we actually see in the episode. So you'll choose here, ignite and change phase with the corruption, all right? And what that's gonna do is your, this will be a special ignition. So while your blade is off, you use special ability five or whichever one you set, you'll ignite your blade and it will begin to do the corruption. Now we can also delay it. So in my demo video, I put a two second, which is 2,000 milliseconds delay. And then again, I was running five seconds here. Um, you can also ch change how the actual ignition you want because it is a special ability ignition. Um, you can change the time. You can also change the overall corruption effect. That's the effect of the what's happening to the blade. Um, but you can play around with all of these. Obviously, I'm going for what I just did in my demo video. So now I've got my style set up. So Special Ability 1, we'll show in a second, but Special Ability 5 is set up. The blade is turned off. That's why it turned itself off. When you choose a Special Ability 5 through 8, um, the first time you choose them, it actually automatically turns off, so you can preview it. So we'll do Special Ability 5, and this has a two-second delay. So Special Ability 5 will do a standard ignition for 300 milliseconds, and then 2,000 milliseconds, two seconds afterwards, it will build, begin the corruption. Um, and then the other part of this, which we obviously don't have, is the sound effect, which was another part of this. The alt font change, which is why this is a special ability, actually occurs after the blade is fully changed. Because we're going to have this battle of the two blades, this corruption, um, we don't want to switch the sound font too early because it won't actually mimic what's happening. So you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to set up that corruption sound, uh, which is a transition sound. The style code will tell you what file name to give it. Um, to kind of mimic what was in the episode or whatever you want. But even if you don't have that, the actual change of the alt font is not done until after the blade is fully corrupted. It's not gonna change fonts out on you while it's kind of doing its thing. Um, that wasn't really what we saw in the episode and this gives you that other ability. If you wanted to do a, an immediate change, you would just use next phase. Um, but so we'll do special ability five. So it's gonna ignite and then two seconds later, it's gonna start my corruption. And it is auto time based on the time you set for how long the corruption should take. At the end, it's going to battle for a few seconds, 
and then overtakes, and then you've got your full change. And right when that blade fully overtakes, that's when your sound font will change to the alt. Um, that's using special ability one, or special ability five. That's an ignition and a corruption together. Now, once we're in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset it. So I'm gonna set another phase. So you can also, because it's a special ability, you can set up other phase controls so you can easily toggle. Um, so I'm gonna set it up so that next phase, so a regular phase special ability is, again, gonna use just the regular transition, so I set a phase up up top. So that's just gonna go that way. But if I wanna do the corruption, while it's turned on, I'll set up my special ability, and again, this'll do it, and this'll use that animation of the corruption. And again, the, the actual change of the alt font doesn't happen until after the bleed is fully corrupted. And you, again, can set your time um, however you want. But so special ability one now is set up to run a corruption, whereas special ability two is just gonna always change the next phase. So this way you kinda have the ability to either do the corruption or just do normal phase changes. You can also set up a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, Cortosis Clash would probably go really well, so you could probably activate a Cortosis Clash special ability, etc. We'll save that for another video. Um, but let's do special ability one. And you'll see it's gonna do the corruption effect. And again, it's timed out. It'll take about five seconds. The very end of it still has that battle. That's That was kind of a, a defining moment in the episode is it doesn't like if we just did it, so I'll just, for our purposes, the reason I built Corruption was because if you just do a wipe, right? So this is a normal wipe. Uh, it's going to do, oops, it activated Corruption as we were still in that screen. Let's go, we'll add, uh, you know, we'll this. This is just for those of you who use the library. If you ever want to reload a style, just hit that little guy there, the refresh. It'll reload you from start zero. Uh, but now... If I do, so this is a wipe animation using the regular next phase. So you see, it just kind of overtakes. Um, that's not what we saw in the episode. The episode was a very jagged, uh, a real conflict between the two blades. Um, so rather than just a wipe, I built out this new special ability to not only control when we do the alt font change, which should happen after the blade is fully corrupted, but also to throw in that corruption sound um, so that it's timing itself out based on what you've selected. Um, so now when we do special ability one, you'll see instead of just a regular wipe running up the blade, this is a conflict. This is randomized, so the amount of conflict will change every time you ignite the blade with the special ability, um, but it is also time. So it's time to finish all of that movement and jaggedness in five seconds um, or however many milliseconds you set. Um, so we'll do it one more time just so you can see. So the regular wipe is a very smooth wipe up. Um, we can use bend time technically, although the... Uh, bend time on transitions for alt font, I haven't added to the library yet because there's a couple little uh, things that have to get sorted out there, but that would be something you could hand code. Um, but it still wouldn't mimic what we've seen in the episode. That's why I kind of went this approach of a special ability is because what's happening in the episode is not a clean change. It's not a smooth change. It is a conflict of corruption. So here's what we get with that. So you get that battle. It's not a smooth thing. It's fighting its way up. And then even at the end, you get a little bit of pushback on it, and then it finally loses. Um, so that's the concept behind it. That is all built into that special ability in order to make that animation run that way. Um, but so that's how you build it. Um, it is in phase three uh, for early access. Um, there are a couple font makers that I've been in communication with who do have fonts coming. Um, I'll leave it to them to do those announcements. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, if you want to start building out your styles, um, the style code will generate and you can test it. Um, and it'll also tell you what um, sound effects are required. So obviously alt font, and then there's going to be, depending on the special abilities you choose, um, there are going to be some TR sounds that need to be added as well. Um, those are primarily for the, if you're choosing corruption, the actual corruption effect is a TR sound. Um, it's not going to be alt change because we do the alt change after the corruption. So the corruption is going to happen before we change all fonts. Um, and again, that's part of the reason it is set up as a special ability is that special abilities give us the ability to change how things work. Um, if you just do phase change, the alt font is changed immediately, but that's not what we see in the episode. So I wanted to make sure we could actually match what we saw in the episode. Hence, that's why special abilities were added in OS 7 because they give us a ton of flexibility in terms of what we want to have happen with the bleed. Um, every time we want something new, it's very easy to add with a special ability because special abilities are just that. They're, they're the ability to add some special code to a style and have it operate however we want. Um, so lots more to come. Um, keep an eye out, obviously, for those fonts, and hope you enjoy.